Hello again and uh, welcome to another Black Desert video. So for this one I thought I would discuss a little bit about the steel tools and the magical tools and see which ones are better, what is the difference between them and if it's actually worth it to go out of your way to try to snipe the magical tools and uh, pay the extra money and if you do that will you actually get anything in return. So um, I know that to get an accurate data for this kind of test I would have to use maybe 100 tools or more from each type but since I don't have the time to do that and I'm not exactly willing to do such a boring task I only used uh, 10 uh, steel tools and 10 magical tools so basically 20 in total and I'm going to show you the data and uh, draw some conclusion and give you an estimate of what could be the difference between these two types. So for the past 3 days I killed about 5000 sheep and I spent about 40 energy potions just to get this test done as soon as possible and get some data which may or may not be accurate. So I'm going to have the screenshots playing in the background just in case you want to check them out individually and I will mention that I was using my life alchemy stone for all of these 20 tools. You may want to keep this in mind because I had to use it to get a level 5 gathering and also the alchemy stone gives me 10% drop rate bonus. And also I was not using uh, Kama Silve 20% drop rate buff. Another detail which might be important to some people is that no there was not a sharp and hard drop rate event when I performed this test which was about 3 days ago at the time of posting this video. So with that out of the way let's get into the conclusions. To compare them somewhat easier or to make you see them somewhat easier, on the left side is going to be the entire loot table from the 10 steel tools and on the right side the loot table from the 10 magical tools. And the first uh, item, the first thing to compare is the main drop, uh, the main uh, product, basically the meat. So in terms of that it's basically the same amount for the steel tools and the magical tools. It's obviously somewhat RNG but if you look closely the numbers seem to be about the same so I'm going to say that there is no difference in terms of that. Then we get into the sharps and hards which is most likely what people want to know about and this is exactly why I'm saying that I may need maybe 100 or more uh, items, tools I mean, to get an accurate uh, data. But from these 10 I could probably say that the magical tools give you a much higher chance to obtain sharps and hards. But then again it might just be RNG, it might not be. But my conclusion, the magic tools will give you a somewhat higher sharp and hard drop rate. Then we have the trade items and the event items. So in terms of event items again I compared the two numbers and it doesn't seem to be any difference besides the small fluctuation in RNG. So if you are looking for a way to get more uh, seals or more pages or whatever the event may be I don't think there is any difference between these two items. But in terms of trade items again there is a somewhat higher drop rate for the magical tools. Um, I was only comparing the item that looks like a paw, um, I didn't check its name but basically that's the trade item that I was comparing. With the steel tools I got 49 of them and with the magical ones I got 62 trade items. So since it is about a 26% increase I would say that again magical tools will give you a somewhat higher drop rate for the trade items. And also with the magical tools I got one extra type of trade item or it's not exactly a trade item because you can sell it to the marketplace for uh, about 500k silver but again with the magical items you seem like uh, you have a somewhat higher chance to get rare items. 
So I don't really want to make this particular video too long because there's not that much to talk about. So what is my final conclusion on this? I would say that magical tools give you a higher chance to obtain rare items such as the sharps and hearts and the trade items. But when it comes to the main product which may be meat or hide or whatever else, those seem to have the exact same drop rate. With that I am pretty much done and to some people this may not be enough and to others it may be all they need. So for example for me personally I'm just going to use from now on only the magical tools because those or at least I expect those to give me a higher drop rate for sharps and hearts. So for example since on the Europe server the tanning knives are pretty much overflowing the marketplace with 1020 of those or maybe more, I'm just going to buy those and not even care about the main material because all I want is sharps and hearts. So if you made it this far then I believe this video helped you in some way and if not then maybe I'm going to see you again in some different video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.